I'm excited to do this video, but at the same time, I'm a little bit nervous because lipstick is something that is so personal. Lip products are so personal. And for me, I like to match it to my whole entire look or my outfit. So what I've done today is I wore a very neutral eye, very neutral blush, and I wore my gray shirt because I feel like that is kind of a neutral look that's not going to pick up warm, you know, anything like that. I was gonna do black, but anyway, so hi YouTube family. We are going to get right into the 20 top drugstore lippies that I love. Let's do this right now. Okay, we're gonna start with lip liners. And I'm not gonna try every single thing on for you, but there will be a couple of shots in here where we'll kind of go back and forth and you'll get to see. I have six lip liners that I absolutely love and I feel like these are ones that I just really can't get along without and they're ones that are kind of varied in color, kind of varied in formula. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is from Rimmel and this is their lasting finish and this one is in mauve shimmer. This is one that I absolutely love to wear almost as like a nude pink base. I just think it's so pretty because you get that shadow around your lip without getting, you know, too pink, too brown, anything like that. So I really love that. And then the second one that I have is the Sephora collection. And this one is Rum Raisin. And this is a very creamy formula. You could wear that as a lipstick all by itself. The one that is from Rimmel is just a little bit drier. You could wear this as a lipstick by itself. You could wear it as your liner and then just put a clear gloss on and kind of, you know, work it around and it shears out and it's so pretty. This one is from Koki and this is Dusty Rose. These remind me very much of the ones from Sephora, but you probably get a better price on them. This one I like because again, it is more along the lines of my nude color. So I really do like that one. And then this one is from ColourPop and this one is in Lumiere. I like Lumiere because it is absolutely a rose color, very pink, very rosy, as you can see right there. And what you're gonna find when you look at mine is that I really don't have a lot of like super neutral colors or brownish, you know, leaning towards that nude color. And I don't really have a lot of the peach colors at all. This is from Rimmel, this is their Exaggerate one. And this is Addiction. And this one is probably the pinkest one I have. So I love the creaminess of that one. It's just a really nice creamy formula. And then this one is another one from Koki and this is called Plum Purple. And this one again can be used as a lipstick if you want it to, but it can also be used as just the liner. So I just really think that all of those are just gorgeous and really creamy formulas. So with any of these, I can take them and just do the outside edge and kind of, you know, work my color without having any other color with it. And I think I'm gonna show you that with the Sephora Rum Raisin. I really, really love this color. So I'm gonna give you just a couple of tips on lips while we do this. And you guys, disclaimer again, shaky hands, palsy. Everybody knows that. If you're new here, that's what's going on. I don't shake because I'm nervous. I just shake because it's a disability that I have. So we're going to start right here at the bottom. And I can't talk while I'm doing this. So I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to go just about a third of the lip. So about this much of the lip is going to be outside that line and underneath my lip. So can you see how I've gone underneath the lip completely? Now I'm just going to go on top of the lip line and connect to the sides. And then right here at the cupid's bow, I'm gonna go just a little bit above again. And again, I'm gonna take that third of the mouth and go a little bit above. So you can see that I just went just a tiny bit above that Cupid's bow. Now, where I think the magic of a lip liner comes in, you can it, make an ombre effect um, without really giving it really much effort. So right out here on the outer part of the lip, I'm gonna fill those in. So 
So I've completely filled that in. And now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna use my lip gloss, and this is just a Sephora lip gloss. Um, I think it's called the Volume Plumping Lip Gloss or something like that. And I'm just going to use the lip gloss and I'm just going to go in there and just put it on fairly thick. And I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna blend a little bit. So basically what you have when you're done with that is just a little bit of a lighted effect in here because we didn't fill it in and the rest of it is your pretty lip your pretty lip liner. So that is my one technique that I do all the time and it's why I actually have so many lip liners. It's because I love that technique and I love doing that. So this is Rum Raisin from the Sephora collection that I love. So in between doing this, I am going to try and neutralize those colors a little bit with my beauty blender and whatever foundation I have on. So that's why my lips are gonna get a little bit uh, <laughs> kind of looking white as we go through. So the next thing I wanna show you are the lipsticks that I love. I have eight lipsticks to show you. The first one is from Maybelline and it is called, uh, I should have read that first, Blushing Beige. This one I was turned on to by Sabrina. She always has the prettiest lip combinations and I just love them. But this Blushing Beige is a very creamy formula but paired with any sort of a liner, it actually just transforms that liner into pretty glossy, full pouty lips, and I love wearing it. So that one is more on the lines of being extremely nude. This one is from Rimmel, and this is number 41, and this one is on the lines of being like super light pinky nude. And I lean towards that anyway because I love pinks. You guys know that my coloring leans towards pinks. So that's the two nudes that I use the most. And then I have this new one that is called um, Pink Parfait. It might not be new to you guys, but this is one of the new matte formulas from Revlon. And this one is a fairly bright color, but I love it. I think it's so pretty. And then this one is also from Rimmel, and this one is number 200. I will try these darker ones on for you. Um, I love this because it has that hint of violet in it. So this is like your true blue pink, blue toned pink. And then you have these two shears that go really good as nudes. So we're getting into a little bit deeper. I'm gonna go ahead and try on that middle one for you guys so that you can see what it's like. I will say that this is an extremely comfortable formula. It is looking a lot lighter on, with the lights here than it actually does on my lips. It looks a little bit more pink, but I almost always pair this with a lip liner and then a gloss on top of it. And that's actually what I do almost every time I do my makeup. And then the other one I just showed is the one from Rimmel and this is 200. This is such a pretty color if you don't want to go the nude route, but you don't want like a bright pink on your lips. It just kind of is a mauve dusty color. So it really kind of tones down the look, but it really will finish any look you have too because it has a tiny bit more depth to it. So I really like this one too. And again, this is Rimmel number 200. The next one is from Revlon and it's called Berry Hot, 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 whatever you want to call it. And I love this one. I think it's a bright, bold berry color with still enough pink in it. It's almost a fuchsia pink with some berry in it. And it looks so pretty on the lips. So I'll try that one on. This color again is so rich. This is a creamy formula. It's not their matte formula an extremely comfortable formula. You do have to reapply through the day, but most of my lipsticks are that way anyway. And even my matte ones are that way because I enjoy having a very glossy look to my lips. So again, this one is very hot or very hot. The next one is one of the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Crayons, which I love. And these are so comfortable to wear. They're not matte. I don't feel like they're matte. And then this one is called Stay Exceptional. So I think this is really pretty and I'll try this one on. So that one is more of a mid-toned pink that can be you know, deepened if you wear another layer of it. If you blot your lips and then put another layer on, it's gonna be a little more long lasting, any lipstick that you do that. And so that one is along the lines of a true rose nude or a true rose color. And I really like that one as well. And then the next one I have is also from Maybelline. A lot of products from Maybelline because I think they do lips just right. This is Romantic Rose. 
Again, this one lends towards being more of a neutral rose color or a neutral pink color. And on the lips, you can see that it's just kind of my lips, but better. It's not a product that's gonna give you pigment too much or not give enough pigment. It's just kind of right in the middle there. So I really have enjoyed having that one and you can see the difference in the, color, the last three colors that we've had. And then the next one is has been a staple in my makeup for years and years and years and it is called On The Mauve and it's from Maybelline. It is an extremely mauve color. You have to be one that really enjoys wearing almost a purple color, which I love, but that is something that you have to keep in mind if you pick this one up. I think it looks gorgeous on any skin tone, but at the same time, I think if you like warmer lipsticks, this isn't gonna be one that you like. So I'm gonna try it on. Now I can tell you that I wore this lipstick every day for like five years. I love this lipstick. It's one that I just felt like it was my signature lipstick for such a long time. So this is a lipstick that if you even like the color a little bit, I would really recommend it to you. And so there are all those we've done so far. And then the last lipstick that I have for you is from Essence. And this one is 04. I think it says crazy. My eyes are like jumping around right now. But um, I really love this formula. Again, it is super saturated, you guys. That formula is a really, really saturated one. It is just the perfect spot between cream and matte. It's really satin. So there it is on the lips for you guys, and that's it right there. This one is probably the deepest one that I wear. I have a tendency to wear this one more on the outer parts of my lips and then do a lighter in the middle. So I love it. it creates a really dramatic look on the lips. I'm not one that normally goes for that because I like to create a lot more drama in my eyes. But on days when I'm doing a very neutral eye, I'll pop on a lip like this and I love it. And I love this formula. So, so creamy and so easy to wear. Okay, so next it's all about glosses. And I'm not going to try every one of these on, but these all have a different feel to them to me and a different reason that I like them. And I'll explain that to you as I go along. So the first one is also from Essence. And this is the Plumping Nudes Lip Gloss. And oh gosh, I gotta find the color on this one for you guys. This one is their number one. And I think this is in Charm. And this one is just a plain gloss. It has a tiny bit of peach in it with a tiny bit of sparkle in it or shimmer in it, not, not glitter or particles or anything like that. That's one thing you guys have to know about me. If a lipstick isn't very easy to wear, if I feel glitter particles and if I feel like it balls up, anything like that, it's not one that I'm gonna wear. So that one is one that I'll use as a clear over top of anything that I do. This one will last you at least a couple of hours because it is a little bit thick. It is a little bit more on the tacky side. So none of these are gonna be thin, you guys. I don't want you to get the wrong idea because there's only one in here that I can see that is a little bit thinner and I'll get to it in a second, but these are the L'Oreal Infallible Glosses and these claim to be six hour wear and I don't know what's in them, but I feel like that that is the, the case and I get these off of Amazon because I don't think that you can buy these in store anymore, but I love this one to go on top of any sort of a pink lip lipstick because it just enhances that. It has a tiny bit of blush in it, tiny bit of pink, and it just brightens up the lip and just makes the lip look juicy and beautiful. The next one is Creme Brulee, and this is the Butter Gloss from NYX. And this is the one that I was talking about. It kind of does that whole thing where it's a little bit thinner, but it's super comfortable, but it still lasts. Now, these glosses are going to give you more color than those other two did, but this is a really light one. So this is a light peachy pink nude, and I really enjoy putting that on top of any lipstick that I feel might get, be getting a little bit too dark. And I can try that one on for you. So on that one, you can see that getting on the lips, it gave me a little tiny bit of peach, but more than anything, it just gives you that really juicy, glossy look. And that's what I always look for in glosses. So my next one is from Milani. This is the Keep It Full Plumping Lip Glosses. I love this one. This one is in sparkling pink. I love the formula on this. This reminds me so much of the Buxom Glosses and I just think it's just gorgeous. This one on its own can create such a pretty look for you. Now they do have other colors that are a little bit more opaque than this one, 
but I really enjoy this color again because it does have the pink. I wear so many pinks or, you know, pinky nude colors and it just enhances that and makes it look so pretty. So that one is Sparkling Pink from Milani. And then the last one that I have is from Essence and this is another one of their Plumping Nude Glosses. And I think this color says heavy. I'm hoping that's right. If it's not, it'll go up on the screen and you guys will know I'm full of it. But I will try that one on for you. I love this one, you guys. It gives a very pretty deep berry color and it stays on a long time just like the other one does. So this one is called So Heavy and it is from Essence and I swatched it for you right there. I forgot about swatching. So it does a really great look on your lips of being kind of like a deeper berry color, but it doesn't really like bam show up too much and that's kind of what I always go for is just a little bit more subdued look on my lips. What I want you to think about is mixing colors and I think this is such a great way to really kind of get your own expression going about what you would like to have on your lips. So I'm going to give you an example of that. This, this is the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liners. You can only find these on Amazon so far. That's, that's the only place I've found this one. And um, this one is in Addiction. So I'm gonna line my lips with it first. And then after I line my lips, I'm gonna take that Rimmel color in number 41. This is the light pinky nude. And then as my last step, I'm gonna take that L'Oreal. This one again is in blush and it's that infallible gloss. And the three of those together is just gonna give you a really juicy look to your lips. And this is a very nude look to your lips. So I wanted to show you that. Now I'm gonna go just a little bit darker with three colors again. So for this one, I'm gonna take the Koki one and this color again, I have such plum purple, and I'm gonna line my lips with that. And then I'm just gonna take and I'm just gonna pat my finger over it to kind of diffuse it just a little bit. And then I'm going to take the blushing beige color and I'm going to go right in the middle here. And then I'm going to take that first gloss that we had, the XL Charm from Essence, and I'm going to put that one on right in the middle. So can you see how that does an ombre effect on there? I love that look. But those are my very favorites out of all the lipsticks I have. I actually don't keep a lot of lip products around because I find that I have my favorites and I kind of go back to them over and over again. So please tell me in the comment section what your favorite lippy is. I would love to hear that or your favorite lip combo. I'm always wanting to try out new things, especially if it's along the lines of a nude pinky tone or pinky tones at all. So you guys all take care of yourselves. Hope you have a great day. I will see you guys all in my very next video. Love you. Bye-bye.